Hi all, in this video, let's learn the differences between the controlled and uncontrolled components in React.js. So this is the one of the interview question for the React.js developers as well. So let's get started. So here we have two components. So one is a controlled component and another one is a uncontrolled component. Now let's discuss what is what. So in uncontrolled component, so this is an uncontrolled component. So why we are calling this as an uncontrolled component means, so here, usually in the React.js, if you have forms, so how to handle the data in the form, you can, you can have two ways. So one is through the control components and the another one is the uncontrolled components. In the uncontrolled components, you will handle the form data with the help of this DOM. Document object model will be helping us to handle the form data in the uncontrolled components. Clear? So how it is doing? So this is a form component. We have one input field and one button field. In this input field, we have a refers, refs. So we are using use refs of React.js hook. It means it is to identify or to find a DOM node element in the React.js. That is the usage of this use ref. So we have imported it and we have used a variable and assigned this use ref to this variable. We have given this ref to this input element. And thereafter, whenever you click this submit button, you can extract the value which is present in this input field. How we are going doing that with the help of input ref dot current. It means it will give the current element dot value means it will give the current value which you entered in that input field. So this is like a traditional way of handling the elements like a, in general we'll be doing in the HTML right like a, a document dot get element by ID. So in that way it is similar to that. So it means in an uncontrolled component the form elements data is handled or controlled by the DOM. Okay, clear. So what would be the output? So let's see the output ones. So this is uncontrolled component. So for example, I'm just clicking the uncontrolled here. And if I click submit, so yes, it would be consoled here. So it means we, we could able to handle or fetch the data from this input text field with the help of the refs. So it means with the help of the DOM. So DOM is controlling this field state. So now what is the controlled component? So in the control component also, this is also same example, but in the control component, we have a form with the input field and the button field, same as that. But here we are not using use refs. We will be using use state. So the use state is also react hook. So one of the basic hook here, we have used the react hook, how to use the react use state is like this. We are using the variable and set input text, the method. And whenever this input field was changed, Okay, we are extracting the value from this input field through this state. So we are getting, we are getting even dot target dot value. It means we are fetching the value from that input field and we are inserting and setting that to this variable. It means here it, the form data was handled or controlled by the react state. So here the form state was updated by or controlled by the react state. So let's see the output. So here also, if I say it is as a control, I'm entering some value here. And if I enter this, yes, it is also coming as a control. It means whatever the value I enter, okay, each and every value, I mean, each and every keystroke I entered. And whenever I click this, it is extracting this value, getting this value and giving that to the React state to show this in the console or to the our usage, clear? Now let's see the differences. So in the first case, in the uncontrolled components, what we did, the component, whatever the input form data element, it was controlled by the DOM, okay? With this use ref, the DOM is controlling. Whereas in the control component, we are using the component state. We are using this control component use state to control the state or the value of this form fields. Here we are showing only one field, but it can be up to a number of fields. But this is how in the control field it is done. Now. In the control component, what happens is for each and every change you do, okay, there is one callback function called on change. So for each and every keystroke you type, this callback method would be triggered and you are setting each and every value of the data here, okay? And we you also have a property called val where the current value will be passed as a property. So input text is a current value that is passed to this property. And this is a current value here. But coming to the uncontrolled component here, you don't have any events or callback events when you're changing something. 
okay and the current value is present in this input ref dot current here you will be getting that element and here you can get that value current value and in uncontrolled components you will not have any event handlers so that is what one that is one thing here it will be maintain its internal state so for example this input field whatever you type so it has its own internal state which is maintained by the dom so that is the reason it don't need any of the event handlers fine so in the control component what happens with what we discussed is we have a callback function so that is the reason whenever you type anything any of the key stroke whenever you do so you can easily validate the form so it means it allows the control component will allow the form validation it would be very easy to do the form validations but here the form validations becomes a bit complex so it can't be done on change so it can be done only after submitting the button and after going inside this on submit button only it can be done so also this control component will not maintain the internal state okay whereas in the uncontrolled component dom is maintaining the internal state of this element whereas in the control component you are not going to maintain the internal state it will maintain the use state of the component state and through it is going to pick the values so this is how it does so whenever you use the control components you will be having a better control over the form elements and the data if you go with the control components you can better do the form validations and you will be having a better control over the form elements and the data whereas if you go to the uncontrolled component we will be having a limited control will be having a limited control over this elements over this form elements and uh, this data form data and also with the control components the state will be predictable okay whatever the form element state can be predictable because you will be having the state here you state and that state would be preserved in one variable and this variable with the help of this variable you can predict the values of the form whereas coming to the uncontrolled where is coming to the uncontrolled component here what happens the state is not predictable the reason behind this is the life cycle of the component so with the life cycle of the component may be it means uh, it it will be component did mount component did update because of the react life cycle methods these form elements may lose its reference okay this reference may lose at some time okay with respect to the react life cycle methods it may lose the reference or even may some other resources may also have the access to change this input reference so this input reference element can be affected by other resources as well so that is the reason the state of this uncontrolled form elements and its data will be unpredictable so that is the differences between the controlled components and uncontrolled components and as per the react document so they are asked us or it is a recommendation to go with the controlled component so because it is having a single source of truth and uh, this is how uh, it helps in lot of ways to handle the states of a component so these are the major differences so it means the controlled components react will be controlling the state of the component or the form data in the uncontrolled component dom will be controlling the form data so this is the main difference and thereafter you have on change callback method here for each and every change you can get the data and you can easily validate the data and it is a form state so it is a react state so the state can be predictable here you don't have a uh, form validations perfectly and the state is unpredictable so these are the some of the differences between the co controlled components and uncontrolled components in the react js so this is enough to answer in any of the interview questions hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos